Hello and welcome to Demon Interviews, episode 128. God, it's been a long time. Um, I'm your host, Springy, and joining us today is our very special guest. Slender Giant Cosplay. Woo! Or you can call me Eric. Either works. <laughs> Either or. Um, so, first question is, how, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. It's it's Saturday. Just kind of chilling. Yeah, definitely understand that. Um, so the next question is, have you ever been interviewed like this before? Um, not so casually before. I mean, I've done like professional interviews, but, um, <laughs> something like this I've not done before. Well, we're happy to introduce you to this side of the world of interviewing. <laughs> um, so now the next one is a very serious, very personal question. Um, would you rather eat Cheetos or go on a hike? <sighs> That's a toughie, because I am trying to eat better, so I'm trying to avoid snacks like that, and I'm trying to exercise more. And I have honestly been wanting to go on a hike lately, so I'd say let's I'd rather go on a hike. Makes sense. Um, so, next up is going to be, um, do you have any other new cosplays planned to do that you're able to tell us about without me giving you a small fee of $5? <laughs> um as of now not really the whole covid 2020 situation it's been honestly like the motivation for cosplay has just been like dipping so i had like my last big cosplay that i made for last katsucon 2020 uh was zephod people brocks and i made this whole big red coat for it and it was it was awesome loved it had so much fun with it and was planning on wearing it to more cons during 2020 and then COVID hit and haven't worn it since yeah. so um but during COVID I did have like some cosplays that I wanted to do like I wanted so with the whole big hype of Animal Crossing last year I wanted to cosplay Flick who's like the chameleon character that collects your bugs and stuff wanted to do him got all the stuff for it and then never ended up going forward with it <laughs> um i did another casual blake belladonna from ruby um with the whole babs draws hype that came out last year as well and then i did kind of like a thrown together snow miser for the holiday season but since then, I don't have anything really planned. Um, it all depends on when conventions start happening again. So, Yeah, most definitely. Um, so next up is, um, so like you said, your online handle is Slender Giant, right? I, I'm making sure I'm saying it correctly. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, um, Why did you choose that name over something else? Well, when I got like back into cosplay, I was like, well, everyone has like these really neat handles and kind of some of them kind of define who they are. Some of them are just out there. And I was like, I need something that kind of defines me. And I was like, you know what? I'm really tall. I'm 6'5". I'm rather slim for my height. So let's go with Slender Giant. Also, the Slender part came because I did dress up as slender man one year for halloween and i thought that i was going to be doing that more and haven't so but the slender giant just kind of stuck well that makes sense to me and that sounds really awesome uh, and sorry if i keep on saying awesome or amazing those are just the only two words i know i do mean <laughs> them uh much like going to autopilot i do mean them um i always feel like i have to say that um uh, next up is um what uh, is the hardest thing about getting into a cosplay of yours? <laughs> well, when you don't have a convention to go to, motivation. Because um, sometimes you like you want to get into cosplay, and it's like uh, it's just so much work to just be sitting at home and taking crappy pictures on your phone. But um, going to a when you're going to a con and you actually have that motivation to cosplay, 
Mm-hmm. Um, probably like makeup if you're doing any kind of makeup. Like I just recently started getting into a little bit more makeup and stuff, like mostly just like eyeliner and stuff. I want to delve into foundations and contouring and all that jazz, but just haven't had the time to really kind of delve into that. But um, that's probably the most time consuming thing. Other than that, it's mostly, I guess it also depends on the costume, like something like this getting into the actual costume doesn't take a whole lot of time, but if your costume is a little bit more involved, then it might take a little bit more time to get into. It might not be as easy as throwing on a shirt and pants and a vest and stuff, but (laughs) definitely makes sense. So now I have to do the stereotypical YouTube thing. Uh, Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon. If you have any questions for our lovely guest here, put them in the comment section below. And don't forget to follow our lovely guest on all of the social media platforms. Either there will be a way to get to all of them in the description below. Um, and yeah, um, coming up soon, as of this being released in April, <laughs> um, <laughs> there will be a unless I release it early, then there has already been um, a root a I'm trying to figure out how to word this correctly a family reunion there, that's how I'm going to state it um, <laughs> sure, that's how I'm going to state it for um, Ruby, Ty, and Yang that will either be coming up or has already came up so if you're wondering, hey, it's the same dude um, <laughs> so, yep, either be excited for that or go watch it it depends on when you're watching this and if that came out before or after this. It depends on when we record it. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> um, at this moment, we haven't yet. Um, <laughs> hopefully by the time this comes out, we've recorded it, but as of the recording, we have not. Um, <laughs> carrying on, my wayward son, um, we are going to go into more questions. First question, after my the shameless plugging for other things, um, is going to be, it's technically a three-part question, and it's also technically not. It depends on who you talk to. It's a long, complicated question from a past guest, a Mr. Zoom underscore 2028. Bacon, question mark. Yes. Is that even a question? Bacon that, makes everything better. Exactly. <laughs> Now an even longer, more complicated question coming from the same past guest. Um, peanut butter, question mark. Absolutely. Peanut butter yeah. is amazing. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. My bad. Oh, no. That's pretty much all I had to say. Peanut butter is amazing. Chunky. Chunky peanut butter is the best. Mm. Um, Gotta have that crunch. My God, my chair is being all squeaky today. I'm very sorry. Um, the next question that's what's the next episode is going it's kind of a combination that we did a few episodes back of bacon and peanut butter question mark i would try it i've had chocolate covered bacon which is pretty good so i kind of feel like chocolate and peanut butter kind of fit into that same category it's like bacon reese's like that'd be yeah. amazing um i know that um because I, we asked this question a lot um I actually did try putting peanut butter on a piece of bacon. Not that bad. Not going to lie. It was pretty good. Like, I'm not going to eat it every day, but, you know, it was good. Honestly, I've had, I went to a a restaurant pre-COVID, and they had a peanut butter and jelly burger, which was, it was weird, but I was like, I need to try it. But the, the peanut butter, it was literally just peanut butter on, like, the bun or whatever but the jelly part was like this like jalapeno raspberry or some kind of berry like jam type thing that they slathered on the burger and it was good peanut butter on a burger is surprisingly good <laughs> huh i wouldn't have thought that but like around here we have like a thing called bacon jam so 
Yeah. It it's very good. Um uh, Tom Burger, so that that's that's how I got to it. It wasn't just a random thought coming out of my brain. <laughs> um But the next question is going to be I'm just checking on time and stuff. Um how many cons have you gone to before since you talked about go- going to a few conventions be- pre COVID? Uh like different cons or like total cons? Um like either or cons. whichever one you wish to do, pretty much. Uh okay. Um I usually try to go to like so my major cons that I go to usually are like Katsucon, uh a kind of a relatively local con called Zenkai Con down in uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, mm-hmm. and Colossal Con East, which is up in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. Um, so those are the three I usually try to hit up, and then a lot of times I try to hit up like Otakon for like maybe like a day, um, or just any like small cons with some friends for like a day. Day cons can be fun too. Um, but trying to think, um, probably been to seven or eight different conventions over the years. Not a whole lot, but. Well, it's, it's four times. It's about four times better than what I've gone to. I've gone to, (laughs) so. I mean, you're beating me, so as long as you're beating me, you're good. Um, But the next question is going to be, uh, so is there any cons that you're hoping to attend to um, in the future, uh, safely, that you're hoping to attend to? Um, I mean, I always love going to Katsu, um, Colossal Con East again. Um, I would like to make it back down to Austin to do RTX again. I did that back in 2018, which was a lot of fun. And I definitely would want to go back. Um, but, oh, I would definitely at some point like to go to a convention somewhere up in like New England area. Cause I've got some like friends up there and I definitely want to check those cons out. Cause I haven't been to any kind of conventions, uh, that far North. So, well, w- I, my words are not happy with me today. I'm sorry. I just got off like yesterday. I did like six hours of recording stuff. I'm sorry. My brain's still mush. Um, <laughs> oh, um, that is really exciting, and I hope cons will open back up safely soon. Same here. <laughs> Hopefully, I can. I can. I can double my amount in 2022. Um, uh, But that takes money. (laughs) Um, Indeed it does. (laughs) The final con-based question is going to be, what is your favorite convention memory? Ooh, man. There's a lot. (laughs) Um, Trying to think now. Yeah, I had a really good Colossal Con East 2019 and just with like the late night swim, uh, just got to hang out with like a whole bunch of friends from all over that I've haven't gotten to see a whole lot. Um, so drinking in the hot tubs, hanging out, having a good time. Probably one of the top memories for me. Awesome. Um, here, let me double check something so I'm not going to mispronounce their name because knowing me, I will, because <laughs> there might be something that people might have seen you in before that wasn't, uh, well, kind of wasn't technically on purpose, but you get my point. Um, do to do, do to do, looking for their name today because I need, Okay. So the other day, it was uh, actually I have this open, so I can say exactly what episode it is. Um, episode where is it? Where is it? Where is it? One hundred six is um 
also where people might have seen um, your, your face once or twice because um, our lovely guest there, a, uh, oh God, I'm going to butcher this. I feel so horrible because I'm going to butcher it horribly. I have it pulled up <laughs> right here in front of my face. Um, and they're, and, and, and they're our editor too, so I just feel horrible now. Um, uh, Kathy Cosplay, K A S E I Cosplay. Oh yeah, Kase, 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 Kase. I think I think that might be it. I honestly am not one hundred percent. I don't know either. <laughs> but, uh, one day Kase I'll learn Cosplay. how to say That's it. how I usually pronounce it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they were on our show the other day, so they might have seen some videos with you in it there so i'm shamelessly plugging eighteen thousand things in your episode i'm so sorry i did not mean to do that <laughs> i'm so sorry ugh okay so now carrying on with the actual point of this episode not ash not uh springy plugs eighteen thousand things um <laughs> the next question going to be coming from a past guest um a shannon carruthers if you you're going to be the star of a movie who would you want your co-star to be? It could be either an actor, actress, or it could just be one of your friends. And what genre of movie would it be? Huh. It's an interesting question. I've never really thought about that. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, genre would definitely be some kind of like comedy maybe some kind of like action comedy mm -hmm. or like a buddy comedy type thing uh, co-star trying to think of actors that i know of <laughs> hmm I don't know. I think maybe like be fun to do something with Tom Holland. He's a goofy guy. Yeah. Most definitely. Um. So. Sorry, I felt like I was gonna burp for a second. I wanted to like try to like mute my mic for it. There we go. I muted it in time. Um. So the next question is going to be, um, would you keep a pet zombie or would you kill it? Keep a pet zombie? Mm -hmm. mm, no, I would kill a zombie. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Um, next up is going to be, who is your biggest cosplay inspiration? Ooh, cosplay inspiration. Um... I'd probably have to say uh, there's a pair of them. They're actual like actual siblings. Um, Senna Gem cosplay and Silhouette cosplay. They're both very good cosplayers, and I love seeing their attention to detail and the different kind of textures that they use in their cosplays. Mm -hmm. And they've definitely been a big inspiration like this is the second iteration of my Taiyang cosplay and they were a big inspiration for me to make it because like my first one was garbage um but they do they cosplay the Bronwyn twins crow and and mm -hmm. raven and it's just really cool because they were actual twins um <laughs> so then they're cosplaying the twins and both of their cosplays look great. And I was so excited to finally get to meet them at Katsu last year. Hmm. And it was really, really cool. Well, that is awesome. Um, doo -doo -doo. Let's see what question shall be up next. Um, what's the best compliment you've ever gotten, either online or in person? Huh. You can tell I obviously don't get complimented that much. <laughs> <laughs> but um like in general or like a cosplay compliment or either way. 
Peter Boy. Mm. All these questions are up to interpretation. Uh. Oh, I've gotten compliments on my eyebrows before. Which I actually like was kind of happy with because I I'm, I like my eyebrows. But um, yeah, someone was like, wow, you have really great eyebrows for a guy. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> well, that is awesome. Um, next up is going to be um, who is your favorite character to cosplay as? Uh, probably Tai Yang. Just, I like the getup. I would really like it if I had a weapon prop to carry around, but still waiting on that from <laughs> Rooster Teeth. Um, but one, one day we'll figure out what it is. Yeah, one day, maybe, if ever. <laughs> Some side probably, story. Probably in like a Stark novel book yeah. that they'll come out with later. Yeah, like but, a um, prologue or something. Yeah, I would love to get more Stark backstory. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Tai Yang's probably like the one that I cosplay the most and the one that I enjoy cosplaying most. Hmm. Well, that is awesome to hear. Um, next up is going to be checking everything making sure we're on time um how are you and some of the characters you cosplay as alike and how are you different hmm see i'm very different from a lot of the cosplays that i do <laughs> so with tai yang uh i really just kind of vibed with the whole dad thing um, like I've just I've always wanted to be a dad and in a previous relationship that I was in uh, she actually had a son and I got to be kind of like a father figure to him before things ended but um, I don't know I just kind of really vibe with the whole dad thing and that was one of the reasons why I chose to cosplay Tai Yang and um, but he's in much better physical shape than I am. So that's one way that we're very different. I'm very, I'm not very physical at all. <laughs> um, see another one that cause the characters that I do is, uh, Kirishima from My Hero Academia. Um, see, I feel like I wasn't very similar to him before. Like because I cosplay him, I've started to like pick up some traits with him. Like I really like, I really like the whole Crocs thing now. Um, um sorry, I say um a lot. And it's really no, bad. You're fine. <laughs> Don't worry. If I didn't have a list of questions, just half of the interview would just be me saying um. So you're fine. <laughs> but um, yeah, I differ from him. In that, again, also not in as good of good of shape as him. Um, but he is very loyal to his friends. And I would say that I'm very loyal to my friends as well. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, my Zaphod cosplay. Probably the only thing that we have in common is that we both have great hair. <laughs> um other than that, he is very much the opposite of me. Just he is very outgoing and stupid, and um, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me again. I'm trying my to God. think of other cosplays that I do. I don't really do a whole lot of other cosplays lately. Those have been kind of the big three. Okay. Makes sense. Um, we're going to go with one more question and then go into th the final four questions. So technically right. it's the last five. So, uh, hmm. Who that th that you know from Instagram and any other social media platform would you like to do a collaboration with in real life that you haven't done one with before? Because I know you've done a few before. Oh, yeah. Um, hmm.
trying to think. There's so many good cosplayers that I would want to do it with. I don't know. I'd probably go back to be saying like, like Senna, Gem, and uh, Silhouette because they do the Bronwyn twins, and I would love to do like a full like Stark shoot with them sometime. Like I, t I got like a picture with uh, Senna as Crow at Katsu, but it was just like a hall shot. Mm -hmm. But would love to do like a full collaboration with them sometime. Well, that sounds awesome. And with that, we're done with my little list. But now I have even more questions. It's like <laughs> it's an interview or something. Um, the first one is: um, Do you have any questions for me as an individual or about the show in general? Um, I don't know, what got you? What got you into wanting to do like these kind of interview things? Um, first, I realized, uh, <laughs> no, uh, um, so I saw that, um, one of the people I follow were doing a, um, show for, um, uh, interviewing people who are, like, the, like, they're trying, like, they're getting, like, voice actors and stuff. So I was like, we like I want to do a show for people who create their own characters, people who cosplay, and like all all the rest. And mainly, it's so smaller creators can get bigger. That's Come why on. I also try to get like bigger people because if they bring our show up, that means we bring everybody else with us. So that that's kind of the main goal of the show is just to try and help others be the best they can be. If, even though it sounds cheesy as all hell, but <laughs> that's the goal of the show. Okay. And then I, how long exactly have you been doing this? Because I know this is what, that's a 128. Yep. So um, we've been doing been this for a while. Yeah. No, this is the first week. I really wanted to <laughs> record 18 a thousand episodes in a week no um we've been doing this for a little bit over two years now as this okay. episode coming out it'll be two years and four months right now in real time for us it's about two years and a week or two okay that's cool yeah just trucking on <laughs> all right that's yeah, so the only questions I was of his head. <laughs> awesome. Well, um, now we'll go on to the final three questions. I promise on one side every single time. Um, first, um, would you ever like to come back to the show? Absolutely. Yeah, this is a lot of fun. Good, because you're already planned for 18 more things. Um, <laughs> uh, the next question is, um, who would you like to see on the show in the future? Huh. I don't know. I'd like to see all my friends. <laughs> awesome. Or just other people. Just other people in general. Um, <laughs> from episode 130 onwards is your suggestion. <laughs> yeah, just find whatever, whoever you can find on the street. Just interview just them. <laughs> pull them off the street. Um Awesome. Well, um, the final question is, do you have any questions for your future guest? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do some kind of like weird food combination question now. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what a weird food combination would be. Oh, here's one. Fry like Wendy's fries in a Wendy's frosty question mark. Mm. And then Wendy's chicken nuggets in a frosty question mark. Nice. Nice. Those both are very good. <laughs> I've never tried the chicken nuggets, but I've, now I kind of want to. Next time I'm near Wendy's, which would be in months and months from now. <laughs> um, <laughs> but definitely I'll have to check that out. That actually sounds really good. Um, 
And obviously the fries, but I've tried that before. Um. Yeah, I feel like everyone's done the fries and the frosty thing, but chicken nuggets and the fry, not the spicy ones. I don't know if they still make the spicy ones, but just the regular ones, they're good. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I want to say thank you so much for being on the show. You're uh, welcome. Thank you for having uh, me. Well, I'm happy to have had you on the show. <laughs> and now... Uh, and don't forget to follow our lovely guests on all the social media platforms. There'll be a way to at least rabbit hole your way to all of them. Um, and also, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And at least I will see you in next video. Bye-bye. See you.